On a hot summer day, it's fun to go out in the woods or in the park. You can take along crayons and a pad of drawing paper. And you can take along a book of your favorite stories. One story that has long been a favorite is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. They all lived together in a little bear house in the forest. A little bear house in the forest. Now, what would it look like? There's a little house. Let's pretend. Now we have a pretty little house in the forest, a house for the three bears. Inside the house, there were three chairs, a big chair for the papa bear, a middle-sized chair for the mama bear, and a wee little chair for the baby bear. In the bedroom, there were three beds, a big bed for the papa bear, a middle-sized bed for the mama bear, and a wee little bed for the baby bear. And, of course, there were the three bears. The big papa bear was reading his morning newspaper. The middle-sized mama bear was cooking breakfast. And the wee little baby bear decided to play with his toys until breakfast was ready. That morning, Mama Bear had cooked porridge for breakfast, and she had set it out on the table in three bowls. A big bowl for Papa Bear, a middle-sized bowl for Mama Bear, and a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. When Mama Bear tasted the porridge, she found it was too hot to eat. So Papa Bear decided they should all go for a walk in the forest while they were waiting for the porridge to cool. That same morning, a little girl named Goldilocks was walking through the woods. Now, Goldilocks lived near the woods, and she often went for walks near her home. This morning, though, she had walked farther into the woods than she had ever gone before. She had always known that bears lived in the forest, and now she had found their house. She wasn't sure just how to behave, but she knew it would be polite to knock on the door. There was no answer, but the door was open. So go in. It was so exciting that she promptly forgot that she had not been invited in and should not have been there at all. Then she saw the chairs. The big chair of the Papa Bear, the middle-sized chair of the Mama Bear, and the wee little chair of the Baby Bear. Goldilocks was tired from her long walk, so she decided to sit down. She sat in the big chair, but it was too hard. She sat in the middle-sized chair, but it was too soft. She sat in the wee little chair. It was just right, until... She was truly sorry she had broken the chair, but just then she saw the porridge the bears had left to cool. Goldilocks was hungry from her long walk, so she decided to eat. She tasted the porridge in the big bowl, but it was too hot. She tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl, but it was too cold. 
She tasted the porridge in the wee little bowl. It was just right. In fact, it was so good that she ate it all up. Goldilocks was sleepy from her long walk, and she wondered where she could lie down. Then she saw the bedroom. She tried lying down on the big bed, but it was too hard. It was also too high. She tried lying down on the middle-sized bed, but it was too soft. She tried lying down on the wee little bed, it was just like her cozy bed at home, and so she went to sleep. Meanwhile, out in the forest, Baby Bear was up in a tree playing hide and seek. Papa Bear was playing too. Then Baby tried out some tricks he had learned. Mama and Papa were quite proud, especially when Baby walked on his front legs. Somersaults were one of Baby's favorite stunts. Papa Bear could do backward somersaults. Baby watched closely to see how Papa did it. Then Baby did it too. And so the bears passed the time while waiting for their porridge to cool. Goldilocks was still sound asleep when the bears came back home. Big Papa Bear, middle-sized Mama Bear, and wee little Baby Bear. As soon as they were inside the house, the bears knew that someone had been there. Papa Bear said in his big voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Baby Bear said in his wee little voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair, and it's broken. Then Papa Bear said in his big voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Baby Bear said in his wee little voice, Someone has been eating my porridge, and it's all gone. Then Papa Bear decided to look in the bedroom. He said in his big voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear, when he looked in the bedroom, he said in his wee little voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed, and here she is. With that, Goldilocks woke up. She thought the Baby Bear was so cute that she would have liked to take him home for a pet. But then she saw Mama and Papa Bear. She was so surprised that she jumped out the window and ran all the way home. And she never again went so far into the woods. So she never again saw the little bear house in the forest. And no one else has ever seen it either, except when they were pretending. Of course, you can draw a picture of the house, and you can have your house look just the way you want it to look.
then you can tell the story of what happened in your little bear house in the forest.